it, it takes courage and a lot of courage and even more courage to finally declutter my shoes. Welcome back to Miss Ming's channel. This is Miss Ming and my channel. I do vlog videos, makeup videos, cooking videos. I haven't done cooking videos for the longest time. Lifestyle videos, study videos, fitness videos, and everything I'm passionate about to create a happy, healthy, beautiful lifestyle. Speaking of healthy, hoarding is not healthy. As you know, I am the biggest hoarder I know. So I haven't decluttered something for forever and I felt like maybe it's time this has been a very difficult decision for me to make and it is it takes courage and a lot of courage and even more courage to finally declutter my shoes if you are a girl you will understand shoes are so Super important for us and I keep every single pair of my shoes for the longest time sometimes I would just throw away a pair just because they're worn off but I usually don't throw away any shoes but today we are going to declutter my shoe collections oh my god oh my god this is so hard for me to go downstairs just to look at my shoe collection Ta-da! so some of actually a lot of these shoes are not mine they're my husband which he said i can throw them away but look how pretty they are and we have more and more and more shoes over here it's not that bad right but wait a minute i even have more on this side what I know, right? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so today we're gonna do a declutter video and declutter my shoes. Are you ready? Oh, before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell. What was our goal again? 1,000 subscribers in the family. So subscribe and join the family. Your support to my channel really motivate me to further declutter. So thank you so much. Namaste. All right, let's get started. So according to the rule from Mary Kondo, the first step is to... The first step is to take down all of your shoes and display right here. So this is what we're gonna do right now. Let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe. Yes. Don't overthink things, baby. Cause I know that you do. You've been a stranger lately. And I know that's not you. Easy come, easy go. No need to fight about it. Easy come, easy go. I'm good without it Easy come, easy go Let's keep it fun and simple Easy come, easy go Oh my god I am so tired Oh my god, my my lower back actually hurts after I put the shoes down. Oh my god. I'm actually getting hot. This is like a big workout. And let's see how many shoes I have. Ta wow. I got so many pairs of shoes. Let's see how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Oh my god. 44 pairs of shoes not including my sneakers and sports shoes for running because they're in my car 
Oh my goodness. Oh my God, guys. I have 44 pairs of shoes. That's crazy. That's absolutely insane. I thought I would just have like 30 pairs, but I have 44. That's crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I am so surprised. So I definitely need a declutter because maybe 35 is an okay number. Which I guess we need to at least get rid of 10 pairs. Do you think it's possible for me to let go 10 pairs of my shoes? That's a little bit hard, right? We'll see what we can do. So, okay. So these are the shoes. So these, these are the shoes that I have currently right now. We have summer shoes, fall shoes. I only have one pair of ring, rainbow, rainbow. I only have one pair of ring boots. So I think these are safe. Sandals are very um, usable, uh, practical for Texas. But I, it seems that I have so many pairs of sandals. So we, need, we may need to get rid of the sandals we haven't wear in the past year. So, which are the sandals we haven't wore in the past one year? And what are the boots? I think they're boots that I haven't worn for the longest time. So we definitely need to get rid of the boots and winter shoes. Okay, so this is a very hard decision. I was thinking... Mm. This one is not super comfortable. They look really, really pretty, but they're not comfortable and they're fairly new. So I guess I can donate them. Good job, good job, good willpower. So one pair donate. Okay, what else? What else? Okay, another pair of sandals. Is this one? They're kind of dirty. I wore it to a vacation. I walked a lot and I didn't wash them. They're from Skechers though. Should I keep they they are comfortable. Maybe I should keep them. Also, we're debating on these. Okay. Another pair. Yes, I can donate this because this one is actually comfortable and it's actually really pretty. It's actually really cute. Um I got it from Marshalls or something like that, but I just felt like I'm getting too old for this. It's just too old for me. I my balance is not as good as younger, so like things that have like super high heels may not work for me. So two pairs so far. Donate shoes. Okay, one more pair. I actually got this from my mother-in-law. Um, for the same reason, it's actually super cute, but for the same reason, it's just the heels are a little bit too high. It's hard for me to walk around, so I'm gonna donate them. Yeah, this is actually in good quality donate. Okay, I guess three pairs are good. We're just gonna donate three pairs. No, our goal is to have 10 pairs. Okay, so we need to look more. So, so far we picked three from the sandal collection. Maybe we need to pick more from the actual shoes. For example, what is this? This one, actually, I may keep this one. But okay, this one is a little bit hard. Um, I think the shape of the shoes already changed. So I think we're just gonna throw away. Nobody's gonna want this. Me. Okay, and it was not expensive, so it didn't hurt my feeling when I throw it away. Okay, so that's four pairs. Four whole pairs. You are strong, Miss May. You are strong. Okay, so. I think I'll be germinating. <sighs> okay, so this one is from Loft Lauren. Maybe keep. It's super cute. The boots. I don't know. This is so hard. It is so hard. Uh, maybe this one. Let's try it on, but I only wore it like twice after I purchased it. I don't think it's the most comfortable shoes. So let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Definitely feels nice to walk. It's actually a walking shoe for work. It's not the most comfortable, but it's not bad. So I guess I'll be keeping this. Oh my God. This is so hard. La Florin, UGG. Okay. I was thinking, ah, oh, this La Florin boots. I don't think I've been using it a lot. Let's see if we're just gonna try it on for now. Let's see. Ah, ah, ah. 
Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's really comfy. No, I'm not donating it. It's a little bit too big for me, but I bought it $80. $80, and it's super cute, right? It is super cute. So I've been keeping this. Uh, okay, so I'll be keeping this. This is good. Yeah, this is good. For winter, yes, keep. Keep, keep. Ah. Uh. How about this? This is cheap. Here. Let me try this one. This one has a zipper. Yes, it's cute. Okay, I'll be keeping this one too. I know. It's hard to let it go. It's just. It's super cute, and it's just my size. Okay, I'll. I swear to shoe God. That I'll be wearing this more. I'll be I'll be wearing this more. So just please let me keep it. Okay, we're keeping it. We're keeping it. Okay, decision has been made. Okay, so but we still need to declutter some of the shoes that I didn't wear. I was thinking this one. I got it from my mother-in-law. Um, it's really pretty. I love it. It's so cute for work, but it's super heavy, so it's hard to walk. And I'm a teacher. I walk a lot. So four pairs donated. Okay. Okay, okay, more. We need to do make, donate more, four pairs. So far, we are good. It's so hard to let it go, so hard. It's okay, we donate four pairs, not bad. No, willpower. Okay, so more. What are the things I can let go more? Please choose, don't cry if I let it go. It doesn't mean that I love you less. It just means I don't use it. I don't use you a lot. Okay, so. Which pair is the pair that I can let it go without crying? Without crying! <laughs> Look at those cute shoes! Okay, comment down below if you have a hard time letting go your shoes as well. Close! You, they can just leave the shoes. I don't know, they're so cute. Okay, so let me see. Let me see, see. Okay, I am actually thinking about donating these but let me see these are ah not very comfortable so yeah I haven't worn for a long time and they're not very comfy they make my feet look fat so donate it is donate this is from the brand which brand Tahari this is from the brand Tohari. It's these this pair is not very comfortable. Maybe some other people may enjoy it, but donate. Okay, so far, eight pairs. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so so far, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six pairs. Good job. I am so proud of myself. We need to think a little bit more. I was thinking the sketcher. I haven't worn it for a year. Probably I won't wear it ever. I want to say throw away because they're kind of dirty. So throw away. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pairs. So maybe three more pairs, maybe one more pair. I don't know. But I know that I still need to give away some. Some. Okay, so the boots are off the table. I love them. I love them so much. Okay, who else should I let go? Um, this pair, I already have it for the past seven years. I only wore it two years out of the seven years. So, but they're super cute, so that's why I always keep them. I always keep them, but now I think it's time to let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Yes. Look how cute this is. Definitely for donate. And look how new it is. I didn't even wear a lot. So somebody else is going to enjoy this somebody else so definitely for donate the reason for donating this is because it's winter shoes I don't wear it a lot because we don't have a lot of winter here and also it's quite heavy so it's not very walking friendly it's great for like you know if you're just wearing I'm thinking about donating this definitely some high school kid is going to really enjoy it so I'm just gonna put it on the donate so I have 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pairs are gone. Do we want to donate one more? Make it nine. We're gonna see well how to reorganize these in the shoe rack so it's more organized. All right, so let's see. Okay, I need to let it go one more pair. I forgot about this. I forgot this one. I can just let it go. I do not wear it. It's not great. So, uh, okay. So now my husband's sandals. Uh, he doesn't wear this. Bye. Okay. All right. So my husband actually takes up a lot of space in my shoe rack. But these are all his. Oh, actually, this shoe rack is okay. Here we go. Uh, it's more than. Oh, I hate this when he takes up my space. I know it's marriage, blah blah blah, but it should be the other way around. It should be me taking over his space. Okay. You know, girl power. Okay, so he has so many pairs of shoes, but a lot of his pairs are actually really expensive, so we're not throwing away. So he can only take up two, I guess. So here we go. So we have two. Levels of his shoes, and then we're gonna put my on the rest of the levels. Okay, so how I'm going to organize it is, I think it's still kind of in summer, so I'm gonna put all of my sandals like right. Here. So we're gonna put the sandals on this level. Let's go. Sandals in the lower level. Sandals, sandals. We're gonna go with the short boots, looking like this. I got this from my mother-in-law, and I was bit debating if I was gonna keep it because the heels are kind of high. Um, but it's just I don't have any boots in that color. So, and most of my short boots, ankle boots, are like this, like black. So I do want to keep one pair like that. So, and I also have a color like this. So good. Uh, uh, uh. Cannot get more than three. <laughs> uh, let's look at the final products. The first two rows are for my husband, Ta -da! and then we have my ankle boots, my um, flats, organized by nude, gray color, uh, white color, and sandals and sandals and sandals. Okay, here we go. Um, and then we also have a rack that's like harder to get to, which is this one. So I am going to put shoes that I don't normally wear on this one, such as my cute rain boots from Croc. I think I got this that's like 14 bucks. It's super cheap and it's super cute. And when it's fall season, it rains a lot in Texas. So definitely need a rain boots right here. Okay. And... These shoes, I do not wear them. They're from China. Okay, the off whites. Uh, da, da, da. They are not real. <laughs> I just can't say that out loud, I guess. The another pair. And then we're gonna put some work shoes heels right there. So put my pairs. This is a heel. Um, but this one is comfortable. It's from La, Fl La Florin has the most comfortable shoes ever. So I do really recommend them. Yes, and this is from a the Macy's uh, backstage one. Um, it's in navy blue. I was gonna buy black, but um, I bought the navy blue. I don't know, but it's so comfortable. So I got that one. Vans shoes, high heel sandals, and also my boots. Okay, my heels over here and then put more heels. Yeah. All right, guys. Whew, I'm so tired. It definitely took a lot out of me. And also, my heart is crying, but it is a good thing. It's a healthy thing. It's all it is about in this channel. It's about staying healthy and happy. 
beautiful. So let's see the final product. We have my husband's shoes in the first two rows, um, my ankle boots organized by the color, and we also have my flats organized by the color from nudes to grayish and pinkish gray. And then we have white shoes over here. We have sandals and sandals, flippers, flip flops, and everything. So these are the shoes that wear all the time. So they're in this one because it's more easy. It's easier to access. Um, versus the other side, we have some more uh, bags, purses, and then we got some ring boots, shoes that I do not wear, like professional shoes, black shoes. I only wear them like sometimes during this um, presentation. So if I do have to wear something professional, I do have them, but I don't always wear them because I'm a teacher. You just wear something really comfortable, and then. Um, we have heels and my UGG boots and then um, for the boots that are longer, uh, not longer, higher, we have them right here. They're not super good organized but if you have any ways to put on your boots, please let me know. So these are the shoes I will be either throw away or give away or donate. Yeah. So I think in general, how many pairs? Let's count. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, including the sandal, the flip, flipper, flippers, flipper, sandal, flip flop, uh, slipper. Including the slippers, I got. Um, I threw away from my husband. We in total is going to give out, throw out, donate about ten pairs, and that was our objective of the day. So today we did two things. We decluttered. We um, thrown out things that we don't wear anymore and also we organized the shoes by the color and the use so i felt like we had a good and healthy and organized day of declutter Alrighty, um i hope you enjoyed watching today's video i hope this video also motivate you to declutter your shoe rack um, if you find this video helpful entertaining if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also before you go don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell our goal is to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year so thank you so much for your support Alrighty, so i'm need to find a way to give out these and found a donation station for some videos some of the shoes all right that's it for today thumbs up and subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Bye!